least not on three points. You can note down the title as three points. Think about yourself. Think about yourself. Dash self-awareness. Self-awareness. In that, you can uh, note down SWOT analysis also. Dash SWOT analysis. SWOT is the WOT. SWOT analysis. I tell you. This is the management done. Yes, WOT strengths, weakness, opportunities, and threats. Work on that. Think about yourself. Number one. Number two. Think about others. Number three. How others think about think about you. How others think about you. Okay, these three points. That means what? We should know ourselves. We should understand ourselves. Because many people have many spells. You have to unleash your hidden potentiality. You have to unleash your hidden potentiality, whatever is there inside you, because many have not explored. That's what my observation is. So, yes, is strength, okay? You have to strengthen your strengths. Convert your weakness into strengths. Identify the opportunities and face the challenges. So this applies for your sales also. So that's why these three main important aspects I am going to cover today. Is it fine? Know yourself. Know thyself. Another title. Put the technical term is know thyself for the first point. Know thyself. T H Y S E L F. I think you're not familiar with that, but that's the main terminology. Know thyself, understand yourself. From today, don't worry about others first. First worry about yourself. Try to know more about you, know more and more about you. For that, this SWOT analysis helps. List of strengths, list of weaknesses, list of opportunities, list of threats. Even for this, uh, for your survey, it helps, no? Huh? So, strengthen your strengths. Convert your weakness into strengths. Gradually. So, what are your goals? What are your resolutions should be? You should convert your weaknesses into goals. Opportunities. O stands for opportunity. It is like a globe, isn't it? At a global level, we have opportunities. But in your area, you have some surrounding, you have some specific area. So do you know that area well, properly? So identify the opportunities wherever possible. And then, in this world, there are a lot of challenges, lot of threats, correct? You should rise to the level so that no one should come to your level. That's one of the best way to teach our competitors. You should go, you should go beyond others' reach. Then no one will come to your level, nah. Because each and every time you are going big, big, big. And you should be your competitor. In the organization terms, your organization should be the competitor. I heard uh, Prabhas uh, two movies are competing uh, uh, now. I was uh, just uh, looking at the TV channel. It seems Provost has done two movies. Each other producers are fighting. Which one to release first and uh, dates and all. That means what? This one hero is competing himself with the other movie. Hey, good terminology, na? Okay, that for the last word. You compete yourself. Compete yourself. That means what? Your competitor should be you. That means you should grow big. You should grow big. Each and every day. Each and every day. Each and every moment. Okay. For this, as I have already emphasized the value of time, 
I want to give one uh, uh, important tip about the uh, time management and how uh, you can make use of it. I have written, I have written another book on celebrate every moment in Canada. Experience every moment. Anukshana Anubhavisi. I have written that book. I just shared these points with her also. I was writing down a few points. I have applied that to my life. My life has empowered to such a way that now I am living one year is equal to my earlier five years. Seriously, I'm sorry. That means I am not doing whatever I am not interested. I am doing what I like. Okay? Because I have removed many things. Unwanted items at home. Unwanted books. Unwanted friends. Unwanted relatives. Unwanted thoughts. Unwanted fact. Cut off. So, my earlier five years, I am experiencing in one year. That means, when my one year is equal to five years, whatever may be my lifetime, I will experience more life than most of the people. Correct? And now I am focusing on my writing, so it is guaranteed that I live after my health also. So I have decided to write one book in six months. Earlier, I used to take five to six years to write one book. So recently, I made a resolution that I should write a book, at least one book, in six months. That means I can live after my death also. That's how I am creating my intellectual property. So before publishing that book, I have experienced those, and now I have written a book. Many people are reading that book, so we should have got this book earlier itself. That is the impression I have given through my writings. That means what? There are many experts who are having more knowledge than me. But I may have only little knowledge, but I am applying that little knowledge to my life that is helping me. Are you getting my point? So in future, I want all of you to practice what you learn. To, for practice, the change in our habit formation helps us. I know for sure that no one can have a control over the whole life. But everyone can control a day at a time. That is my formula for you today. A day at a time, if we control a day at a time, we can control our whole life. How is it? So work on that day. You have a diary. Start writing a diary in a proper way. I know you have to send the report, make it a report separately. And start writing what you have done today. Plan your day in the morning and audit your day in the evening. Plan your day in the morning and audit your day in the evening. That's it. Checklist. So gradually, your pending items will come down if you are working on that. Let it be pending works, no problem. But after some time, the list will come down. Now, that will become zero because you start working on that particular day itself. You start working, you start completing the task within that specific period and those targets will be very easy for you because you are more empowered you have cultivated more habits, you are using your brain to do that, and you have a skill to present. 
So you can save time like that. So convert your pressure into pleasure. That's it. That's it. Enjoy whatever you're doing. Or else quit this job. Seriously, I'm telling you. If you are not enjoying what you are doing, why? I know you are all working for yourself, correct? Not for the company. First point, correct? You are all here for to get the salary. Number one, correct? Am I correct? Yes. Sir. Company is not after you. You are after company. Don't forget that. <laughs> correct? Clear? Am I clear? You are you are here for yourself. Nemo goskar ni bandi dila. Correct? Company was Karabandila. But Bandha Mel Nani and El Tai, Bala Bodhi Dira. I Dengi and Ray Katkan again. Alandre. You have so many heroines in your mind, but you are going to marry someone. Correct. So you have to manage with that. That's your fate, I don't know. But you start experiencing. No, no, my mama cut better. Not for me. Then you will not enjoy life. That's why many couples are not happy because <laughs> they are not doing what they are supposed to do. They are seriously they are not enjoying life because all they start hating. There is no love. So in that place you have to put love. Love is having a broader meaning, not just boy and girls. Love. Seriously, I love my training. I love my writing. I love my speaking. I love you all. Love is extended to each and every person. When we start experiencing that and when we share our love, seriously things will change, especially in the... That's why I have given some complete different phrase to this uh, sales. If you start loving whatever you are doing, Things will come automatically. Yeah? What law of attraction says is, if you are become a magnet, you are going to attract a lot of people. People will come to you. People will give you. Seriously, I am working on all those topics. Law of attraction says that you can become a magnet. You can attract whatever you want in your life. So for that, you should be of some pure mind, pure body, pure thoughts, pure business, not some bad uh, business. I heard that so many bad businesses, heads of bad businesses, their fate is not so good. See it. Uh, I've discussed with many you know, big people. If you are on the right track, if you are doing the right business, you have a right to ask business. You have a right to bring business. Just to bring business, if you do all sorts of drama and nagra, one or the other day people will identify you and throw stones at you. Correct? So when we are doing the right business in a right way, we should align ourselves in the right direction, it will support us, it will help us to attract people. That is why I have given these three points. For that, you have to be paka. You have to understand your strengths. You have to understand, identify the weakness, what are the weaknesses I am having, and just overcome that weakness. That's it. You will be more stronger. Lakshmi, richness, steals, Strong, correct. The strong, the uh, confidence. How much confidence you have, you represent, that's what is required here. Okay? So you should prove that confidence in you. When entering to any one's premises, people should feel that. Wow! Vandra sir, Vani sir, please have a seat, sir. Vanna, so situations, uh, I know, but still, I am remembering one example.
family. I was when I was in the commercial tax department, there were around 150 files I was looking after. For 149 files, whatever the time is required, was required for one file. Another one file. Okay. Even in my dreams, those ideas, those calculations used to come to me. Okay. At the end, I have to take a call and uh, the department government decided to sell his property. Auction. So these people, officers, made me to announce that auction also. Okay. But that person, I have maintained a rapport with that person. Now he's a friend of mine. Though I have auctioned his property, if he finds me somewhere, he'll come to me, Jay Prakash, for whatever guidance you have guided. Thank you very much. He was so friendly, seriously. It's very difficult, isn't it? I was not a final for that, I, but I was maintaining a rapport. That means what? He may be in some problem, family issues, a lot of issues. So property near the Mumbai Road, main road, I have option. But that individual is maintaining a good rapport with me. In your case, yes, he said uh, some credit people. So credit people should value you also along with the company. Then they will not do like that. Are you getting my point? If you are so close to them, that's why I was remembered of my example. Though I have auctioned his property, he has become my friend. That should be our uh, rapport. When we maintain dignity, decorum, along with that professionalism. See, we have to do our task. We have to do what? We have to give. We have to give. Uh, timing, we have to give different options, we have to observe different situations. Okay, now I am remembered of another example. I have interviewed the uh, Supreme Court uh, former uh, Justice Shivraj Patil. In one of his shows, what he told was, yes, though there was a law, judge has to have his sense of mind before giving the order. Though there is a law, but depending upon the situation, judges has to use their brains before giving the order. This is what he has mentioned in my intro. Are you getting it, sir? We have a lot of set of rules and laws and everything, isn't it? So as an individual, you should have that sense before giving the order. Supreme Court judge has told me, yeah, so in the same way, you can maintain the relationship with the individuals by maintaining the dignity, decorum, professionalism. Because you should not think that uh, if you take that uh, person to a bar and get the party and all, that's what I, uh, the, that's not I'm mean, telling. So dignity, decorum, professionalism, apart from that, still you can maintain some relationship. So if you maintain that relationship, people won't forget you for their lifetime. Won't forget you. See this in a So take control of a day at a time. You will have, normally used to say like this, if two pillars are there, one is birth and one is death, we have in the today. Okay? This is past and this is future. Correct. Most of the problems will come because few people will always be there in the past. I have observed, I am just sharing my uh, wisdom to you. And many people are, uh, they are all in the future. Future, it will be like that, like this. Yes, we should have our experiences, past. We should have dreams and we should convert those dreams into goals. Yes, of course. But we have to live today, we have to live in the present. That is where success lies. 
That is where every moment you can experience and celebrate each and every moment. Okay. So morning, we have just opened our eyes. That means it is the temporary date of birth. Night, we are going to we're going for sleep. So this is temporary date of birth. Correct. That means each and every day we are born, we are uh, going to born, and we are going to die. This is an example. <laughs> Got it? So, so then what? Our life means what? Whatever the time, we have opened our eyes. Correct? So, from morning till evening, we are doing many things. Out of which, if you have a control on few things, removing unwanted, that's why I told, so focus on what you want and not focus on what you don't want. Work on your priorities. What is most urgent and what is most important? Things start happen. I guarantee you that. From morning to night. Plan, review. Okay? So plan, review each and every day. Take control of a day. You, you want something. That's why those three points are very important. Include those three points in each and every day. What you have done for yourself, what you have done for others, and what others expect you. Clear? For example, in your family, your family members expect time. Today my daughter has warned me, I, uh, she wants me to she wants me to go with her for, to bring some item. So she has passioned me in the morning. Appa, you are given time tonight. So I have to apply, correct? So work like this. I think most of your problems won't arise at all. Now, these days I am working on problem solving mindset. Why problems are there? Because we are always there at the problems. We are not looking at the solutions. So that's why I tell, uh, you can note down this point, don't be a part of the problem. Don't be a part of the problem. Be a part of the solution. Don't be a part of the problem. Be a part of the solution. This will work out like anything, friends. Because many people are, sir, it has happened for me like this, that, that, that. So they will always uh, want sympathy and they will share, sir, it was like this, my life. Who will care? They will just listen. That's it. But when you work on the solution, yes, there is a problem, yeah. Each and every family, we have a problem. Each company is having a problem. Governments are having a problem. Everyone is having a problem. Look at the solution for the problem. Work on the solutions. Yes, there is a problem. There may be a smaller, prettier problem, middle level problem, top problem. But if you start working towards problem, things will happen like anything. Seriously. Seriously. Take an example of an eagle. When other birds, when rain starts, other birds take shelter below the trees. Correct. What eagle will do? Eagle will fly above the cloud. Then what will happen? <coughs> then what will happen? There is no rain above the cloud. There is no rain at all. Why can't we think like that? When there is a problem means there is a solution. When there is a key means there is a uh, when there is a lock means there is a key. The same eagle, another example I had recently. Normally, uh, few crows will sit on eagle. Okay. So for that, what eagle will do? Eagle can't do. Uh, see, for example, we can touch at least. Eagle can't do like that. What will do? It will raise. Rise, 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 rise. Then what will happen? 
at the top level even can fly with that level of oxygen but the crow can't be there so automatically when it passes some level crow will go off in the same way if your knowledge strength skills approaches habits you are raising your standard raising your level other problems will vanish gradually seriously i am telling you whatever may be the problem you raise your standard the rest will go off this is what i have observed this is a new topic i am working that's why i am sharing everyone is having problem but if you work on the solution when you work on yourself when you raise the standard the above standard the similar way the other competitors will also fly up and you are going to fly you are going to be on the top similar way when you represent that company that company will also be on the top okay see few years back 